In the year of our 70th anniversary of Bomb Alley Shell Hall, to welcome you to this first war commemoration service in Belleville. I am Moth Gail Yordan, and the Parade Sergeant Major is Moth Derek Geary. Reading this morning from Ecclesiastes, there is an appointed time for everything, and there is a time for every event under heaven, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to shun embracing. A time to tear apart and a time to sew together. A time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Let us pray. O oh God, our ruler and our guide, in, in whose hands are the destinies of this and every nation, we give thanks for the freedoms we enjoy in this land and for those who laid down their lives to defend them. We pray that all the people of South Africa, gratefully remembering their courage and their sacrifice, may have the grace to live in the spirit of justice, of generosity, and of peace. O oh God, grant that this is the time to live, to plant, <coughs> to heal, to build up, laugh, sow together, love, and a time for peace. We ask this in thy holy name. Amen. Please stand and remain standing for the sounding of the last post, followed by two minutes silence and the sounding of Reveille. <laughs> On behalf of Moth Bom Ali Shallow, Moth Francois Dempers. On behalf of the Defence Provincial Liaison Council, Western Cape.
Lieutenant Colonel Gerald Bosov. On behalf of the CSANDF Defence Reserves, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Stern. On behalf of the South African National Military Veterans Association, Moth Edward Sykes. For the Council of Military Veterans Association Organizations, Moth Chris Rue. For the Moth Cape Western Provincial Dugout, Moth Moni Janssen. For the Royal Navy, HMS Iron Duke, Lieutenant Chris Borden. For the South African Legion, Legionnaire Colin Kalmeyer. For the Kufut Veterans League, Mr. Pine Pinal. For the Friends of the Force Association, Mr. Abby Bennell. For the Priory of South Africa, for the Order of St. John. This is Margaret Wisthuizen. For the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital, Ms. Liz Linzel. Moth Blober Kuka Shalo, Moth Jan van der Will all units, associations or organisations who have not been called and would like to lay a leaf or a poppy, please do so now.
in the spirit of true comradeship and in sound memory, we remember our comrades who did not return. Those that have answered the sunset call and those that have paid the supreme sacrifice in all our wars. I shall pass through this world but once. Therefore, any good that I can do or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now, for I shall not pass this way again. In memory, in honor, in silence do we pause. A humble tribute to those who died for freedom's cause. By their sacrifice in passing, when comrades went to rest, moths vow they will be remembered of their kind the best. They shall grow not old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to honor citizens of the community in Belleville who have laid down their lives for their country. They laid down their lives in time of war for their country and for all the people of their country. It includes me and you and everyone else. It's appropriate that we do this commemoration service today in August because as the old said in her opening address, World War I started in the British Empire on the 4th of August 1914. The Second World War ended when Japan surrendered on the 14th, scarcely the 15th of August 1945. And the Builder War started in August 1966 with the first real combat situation. We've got a debt to these people. Now, I don't want to anyone to think that I am criticizing the expense of all these wreaths that are here. But may I suggest to you that by laying a single poppy and making a donation, be it to the St. John's or Red Cross or any charitable organization of your choice, is perhaps a better way of honoring the sacrifice which these men made and all the men made in time of war. We must also remember that at this moment in time we as South Africans have men and women, soldiers, airmen, sailors, medics involved in other places in Africa and our prayers must go out to them. I prepared a long and involved speech and I'm not going to make it. I'm going to conclude by reciting to you a poem which was written in April 1915 by a Canadian, Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row. They mark our place. Whilst the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived. Felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved. But now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you with failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith, with we who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Hill. Since that time, 99 years ago, that that poem was written, the poppy has become the symbol of sacrifice and of remembrance. And remembrance means remembering the acts and the deeds and the sacrifices paid but not remembering it once a year at a parade like this, but every day. And if we can live our lives a little bit more in line with the ideals of the moths of true comradeship, mutual help and sound memory, 
I think that we will be paying honour to the men whose names appear here and to all those who have given their lives in all the conflicts in South Africa. I thank you. Please stand for the playing of the national anthem and will all gentlemen please remove headgear. That hospital opened its doors in 1956 with the aid of these funds contributed by our soldiers. It stands today as a public memorial to fallen comrades. We at Wom Ali Shalol have adopted the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital as our public benefit cause. We have here a tin hat on the wreath table that should you wish to make a donation, the proceeds of will, will be given to them. I have the pleasure in asking Ms. Lynn Zinzel from the Children's Hospital Trust to accept a small contribution of 3,000 Rand from Bomb Ali Shalom. And Cape Town Sub Council Ward 6, I would like to thank you for your attendance at this war commemoration service. We would like to make this an annual event and hope in future years to contact more of the families and comrades of those soldiers, sailors, airmen, medics and police whose names are engraved on the various memorial stones and plaques in the northern suburbs. Thank you for your attendance in honouring the falling. We hope to see you again next year.